Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. Uh, what we're going to do in this lesson is begin to explore some further properties of the Laplace Transform that's going to greatly uh, in enable you to tackle more complicated transforms and more complicated inverse transforms. We're still going to use what's on the board as an anchor. These are our core transforms. What we're going to do now is write some additional properties that are going to enable us to use these to tackle an even broader array of functions. So when we're done with this lesson, you'll have a few more tools in your tool belt to analyze uh, more complicated functions to take their transforms and their inverses. All right, so I could just write them all down, and, and I'm not going to derive everything, but I think it's instructive to show you where at least one of these things comes from, um, just so you don't think you know, that it's too incredibly hard to understand, because it's really not. Um, by now, in science and engineering, you probably figured out that exponentials are important. You can see we have exponentials here, uh, all through calculus and, and physics and engineering and things like that. So um, it's probably going to come up that we're probably eventually going to want to take a transform of a function of, t of time multiplied times an exponential. And it turns out that when you see that arrangement, the Laplace transform, it, it, we have a nice little property that we can utilize. So in other words, let's just explore what would happen if we were trying to find the Laplace transform of an exponential, and I'll call it e to the alpha t times a function of time. So you all know that if the exponential wasn't here at all, it would be just the Laplace transform of f of t. We've been talking about how to do those in certain forms here. Now what I'm saying is, let's say that I have a function of time, and I can see clearly that it's being multiplied by an exponential, e to the alpha t, where alpha is just a number. So it's an it's a exponential in time. All right, so what would we do? I could just write the property down, but what you would do if you were trying to derive it is you would take the integral from zero to infinity of e to the minus st times whatever you're trying to take the transform of. In this case, e to the alpha t uh, times f of t dt. Now, notice we're trying to derive this. So we're basically taking, we're just, you know, we can say we'll sit around the campfire and make this up and say, gee, what would happen if we had something times an exponential? What would that look like? So we just stick it inside the transform integral. And then we'll quickly find out that when we do that, something interesting happens because these are two exponentials. We can combine all this stuff here and we would have e to the minus s minus alpha t times f of t dt. Make sure you understand that. Since these have the same base, we can just add the exponents and we add the exponents, I'm just going to factor out this negative sign uh, and factor out the t. So if you multiply everything through, you get negative st, which is that, plus alpha t, which is that. So all we've done is basically done do some factoring here. We have one term with an exponential in time, and we have our function of time here as well. All right, so let me draw a conclusion for you, and I'll put a little curly brace under here and say this is similar to, and notice in math, you know, a lot of times you, you look at a problem and you say, well, gee, this looks kind of like something I've already done before, and that's what we're trying to say. This, in this case, looks similar to the following thing. Integral 0 to infinity, e to the minus s t f of t dt. In other words, if we have a function multiplied by some exponential, and we do the simplification, then it really just looks like the Fourier, I'm sorry, the Laplace transform integral. This is the Laplace transform integral if we were just transforming f of t. But the difference is, see, notice there's a minus sign 